Hello YouTube, this is uh, Florence138 and uh, this is my Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile of X-Sabers. Uh, nothing for the tra deck is for trade. Uh, I just want to see, uh, um, I'm asking for uh, comments and likes or dislikes. Uh, and uh, basically of what you think of the deck. I've been playing X-Sabers for the past... Shit, I forgot. Uh, uh, like, I, I've been playing them since the, uh, before Dark Soul came out, and, um, well, here's the deck that I, this is how I run it. I'm trying a new twist with the deck, it's a couple cards, and so far it's worked out pretty cool, and, um, well, here it is. I got two Fultrals, three Emmer's Blades. Three Dark Souls, three Bogart Knights, three uh, two Partials, three Full Helm Knights, one Air Balam, one Goras, one Thunder King. And one Beast King Barbaros. This is one of the cards I'm actually trying out because it's so easy to spam out three monsters in this tribute and summon him, blow up your opponent's field, hit for three grand, or uh, just summon them from the hand, hit for 1900, or tribute two monsters and summon them to the field as a 3000 beater. Either way, I like the way he runs, honestly. But of course, uh, comment and whatnot. Uh, Two Gotham's emergency calls. Sorry for the glare, guys. Uh, two trap stuns. Two of God. How do you pronounce this? Uh, this guy. He's great for. Uh, I, I find him great for X Saber because since they banned Cold Wave, uh, he this just locks down the opponent's backfield, and. Um, you could always Han lay their field or scrap dragon this card if uh, whatever if shit goes down. Um, I run two Solomon warnings, one Solomon judgment, one call the haunted. Actually, I was doing the deck. I've been doing a lot of stuff with this deck, and uh, call the haunted is not really needed in the deck, but I run it because uh, I'm trying out stuff with uh, Beast King Barbaros. So, yeah. One Mirror Force, one Royal Oppression. Uh, this can be bothersome at times. Uh, it could slow slow my deck down because I don't run any Mystical Space Typhoons. And, um, I can't really blow it up myself. And, uh, if my opponent really wants a special summon, they'll just waste their MST to uh, get rid of it. Or another card to blow it up. Whatever works. I run two Nobleman of Crossouts. I like this a lot. I'm, on, I'm an old school player and I always loved running these in my deck. And uh, I'm running two right now because once I swarm the field, my opponent loves to go into defense. And uh, I just like get rid of it. Plus, it's also good against those decks that like to run three Rikos or any uh, Gravekeeper deck with uh, Gravekeeper Spies and whatnot. Just remove them from play. I don't have to worry about them again most of the time. Uh, one Smashing Ground. So I run Smashing Ground because um, I like I like getting rid of the monsters before I do damage, and I I haven't had the, this card in the deck for long. Just like uh, this and these two and those uh, trap cards that lock down two cards in the backfield and the Beast Keep Marvel. This is just stuff I'm playing around with right now. So I might change the deck. I might not. Who knows. Uh, one reinforcement of the army, great for uh, grabbing uh, Parshul and uh, Full Helm Knight. One Dark Hole, one Giant Grenade, one Monster Reborn, and one Book Moon. So I really hated this card, God limited to one because it was so versatile in this deck. But then again, uh, being limited to one let, makes um, a whole bunch of other decks be more versatile without being uh, like destroyed. All right. And that's what I have for the spell and trap. Then we have this synchro slash fusion. One fusion monster. Duh. Cyber dragon. Machine decks. Get rid of it. I run two Gotham's. 
uh, glare. Sorry about that. I run two Han Lays. I like to get these ultimate. I used to have them ultimate, but I run up trading the whole deck off and then getting the deck back within, I don't know, probably like, I think it was like two months. Uh, Stardust Dragon, I'll probably run two. I don't know. Scrap Dragon, very good card in this deck. Uh, Black Rose Dragon, I rarely summon this, but it's it's only like probably one in ten games I'd summon this. Or probably not even that. I don't even know why I have it in there, honestly. It's just for like desperate situations, I guess. Uh, Cataster, I'm actually looking for more five useful five star monsters. Probably run next ever Wayne for the hell of it. Uh Urabellum, Mistworm, Colossal Fighter, great card in this deck by the way. Uh Nature's Beast. Uh another really good card in this deck. And um one Bryonic. That's my deck profile for um X Sabres. Uh, once again, uh, comment, rate, subscribe, whatever. Um, tell me what you think of the deck. Tell me if you hate the deck. Tell me if you like the deck. Um, tell me what you think I should change in the deck and whatnot like that. I'll play around with ideas and um, see whatever works. Uh, I honestly don't like uh, doing uh, like going online and figuring out what's good. Uh, on the lines of like, I'm going to look up the top deck and be like, oh wow, this deck's really good. I'm going to play it and not know how to run it. No, no. I, I like I said, I've been playing. I'm I'm one of the original uh, X Saber players, and I feel that it's in order to gain good skill in this deck, you have to uh, play it from how you think it would be good instead of going online and. Uh, Figuring out what's the good deck, what's the good build, how to run the good build. Let's play the good build and hopefully we'll win and lose every game because you don't know how to run it. Alright, uh, thanks.